So I never had a nice vanity. I had a, I didn't even have a vanity. I had a little desk in the corner where I used to do my makeup. What else did I do over there? I did everything in that little corner. But it was so dark and I didn't like it. And I always thought like, you know, I'm gonna go outside and look stupid with my makeup on because I could never tell if it was too dark, if it was yellow and orange and it was just weird not having enough light. So I decided that I was gonna make some hanging shelves. I had a little corner. Heavy. So then I had known I wanted to make a vanity mirror. I had one before, but there's a story of that. And if you watch the other videos, you know why I didn't like that one and I wanted a new one. And um, not really new, a repurposed one. How about that? With some new accessories. So I had some leftover wood from my kitchen when I first moved in here about 15 years ago. And it was Marine Ply from Quebec. And I had some leftovers that I made shelves upstairs for um, our closet and such. So I also had a couple of pieces left over that I saved and I used to do, like if I needed a hard surface or while sitting on my bed, I would use that. So then I said, you know what? Now that I've moved my little vanity in this little corner over here where there's a little bit more light and I got some lens, I had like, I have the mirror and then there's a blank space on the wall on this side and a blank space on the wall on that side. So I said, well, I'm going to put some hanging rope shelves there because um, our walls are concrete and I don't like trying to hang too much stuff by that because it's like hit or miss with me. One minute I can't find the drill bit, the right size drill bit, or where are the wall plugs? Oh, and this screws on, like, mm. so, I mean, I try, I like my tools and stuff like that. So if you wanna see how I made my hanging shelves, and I'm gonna show them to you right here. I hope you can see them. And I hope I'm not too close together. I don't know why I sing things like that all the time. So this is the completed shell. If you want to see how I made these, just keep watching. So I'm going to make some hanging rope shelves. I have this extra piece of wood left over from when I made my book stools. I have two of them so I can make a two shell rope. Also, I want to make sure that this is oh, it's a little bit of lemon. It's marine ply, it's very strong. So, I thought I was going to make a two inch square, but I'm actually going to make a one inch square. And I'm going to cut it up and put it in the corners so that I can carefully and easily measure without having to use the ruler. I'm going to definitely need a tripod. And you're trying to fill this one square. Okay. Just take a square. Put it here. I saw this from Mr. Kate and I thought it was a good idea. And then just put a there you go. So my first hole's gonna go there and I think that's a good spot. And then I'm gonna do the second one. A good idea. Okay, so I'm gonna go there, heal there, and do the same on the other side. I'm gonna move that properly. Then I'm gonna move you over just in place. Hold up here. And there we go. So I'm gonna put my two pieces of marine ply. Come on, I'm not even gonna bother with it. I just gotta find a drill. See? I've got my drill bit. I just don't want to make that too big. Maybe I should do a pilot hole. Nope, let her rip. There we go. I really should do a pilot hole, but I think the rain is gonna come. Let's try. Let's hear it goes nothing. I 
in the den. My husband will notice. There we go. There we go. Perfect Monday. All right, got those two. the first coat of the uh, wood for the floating shelves. Unfortunately, I lost the footage of me tying the knots for the shelves. Really. So I cut a piece of sisal off the end of my little bundle here. I was just debating whether I should make a little tassel for the bottom of it. This is not the thickest sisal, but it's all that I had at the time, so I don't know, sure. And then I just peeled it apart like this. And then I took the ends of my shelf together. And then I wrapped it around. I'll just show you the front. I wrapped it around and then I glued the back. So then I put them up. Maybe I'll use a cup hook on the wall and just do it like that. But it's not very difficult to do. I think the hanging part is going to be the most difficult part. And this is all the wood that I had. I wish I had some more because I can only get a two tiered shelf out of this, but I think it'll be okay for now. If I do a good job, then maybe I'll do another one if I can get some, like, I think some inserts from shelves. I think I saw them at Gorms. If I get that, can I can maybe make a four-tier shelf? Yeah, and then maybe I'll try with thicker slicer. You'll see. I always have to put these into concrete walls. So that's going to require me drilling. I think I'll put it, maybe I'll hang it like right there down. I'm going to get rid of that fluffy mirror. I actually need it for my niece. But. So I went ahead and drilled the hole and inserted the cup hook and hung the shelves. At first I was really upset because I thought they were really crooked, but I don't think so. I think it was just because it was a bare shelf. Um, and the knots are adjustable, so I don't know why I was worrying about it being crooked. I also think at first it was very bare because there was only two slats of wood that I had, and I really had envisioned having like four. So I think that was throwing me off, but in the end I actually love them and I'm very happy with them. Um, then. You can see the shelf here. I have a space at the bottom. I was like, well, yeah, I do have room for another shelf, but I think that's redundant because it's almost the same distance from the shelf to the vanity top. So I might as well just keep that empty in there. Because if I wanted to, I can always raise these shelves up a little bit. I mean, that, I think that's the good part of using these knots. You can always adjust them after that. So that's where she is. There's my Chevron silver and white. That I still have been lazy. I still have to paint over the pencil lines in white acrylic paint. Honestly, I don't know why I did that so dark in pencil. I have no idea why I did that. But anyway, I just don't feel like fixing that right now. So, there she is. Quite pleased with her, actually. There's something that was so simple to make. It really makes an impact. 